The controversial Keystone XL oil pipeline failed to win approval in the Senate tonight by just one vote. That final vote, 49 to 41. 59 to 41, that is. It needed 60 votes to go to the president. It's a blow to Louisiana Senator Mary Landro, a Democrat in a tight December runoff to keep her Senate seat. She had sponsored the bill and expressed confidence in the pipeline vote earlier in the day. At the conclusion of the vote, protesters in the Senate gallery erupted in anti-pipeline shouts and were escorted out. We're going to take a closer look at the Keystone Pipeline controversy later on Fox 9. Well, both of Idaho senators voted in favor of the pipeline and are both clearly frustrated with the outcome. Senator Mike Crapo says it will provide a significant economic boost to our country and help North America increase its energy security by reducing reliance on foreign resources. Senator Jim Risch echoed Crapo saying the pipeline would employ thousands of workers and be paid for by the private sector rather than our tax dollars. And I am disappointed that Democrats have blocked this project, using government power to once again frustrate the creation of jobs in the private sector. Again, we'll have more reaction to the pipeline vote coming up on Fox 9 in our second half hour.